Okay, these are some problems off of uh, section 2.5 homework. It says uh, find any x intercepts, vertical asymptotes, undefined points, and horizontal asymptotes for the following equations. A, f of x equals the quantity 3x minus 5 to the fifth over the quantity 5x plus 1 to the fourth. Okay, to find the x intercept, set the numerator equal to 0. Actually, simplify if there's anything that needs simplified or canceled out first, but this is, there's nothing that cancels out and it's completely simplified. So to find the x-intercept, set the uh, uh, numerator equal to zero. So if you set 3x minus 5 to the fifth equal to zero, you can take the fifth root of both sides and you just get 3x minus 5 equals zero. Add the five and divide by three. So you get x equals 5 thirds. So there's an x-intercept at 5 thirds. Vertical asymptotes set the denominator equal to zero. So set 5x plus 1 to the fourth equal to zero. Take the fourth root, that cancels out the fourth power. So you just have 5x plus 1 equals zero. Take the 1 to the other side and divide by 5, you get negative 1 fifth. So that's where the uh, uh, vertical asymptote is. Undefined points come from things that, uh, po uh, possible undefined points come from places where that cancel out. But nothing cancels out here, so there's no undefined points. Horizontal asymptotes. Well, you look at the powers. The power of the numerator is the fifth, the power of the denominator is the fourth, and if the power of the numerator is bigger than the power of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote, so there's no place where this thing approaches, uh, uh, levels off or anything. So as x approaches infinity here, uh, the y values are approaching infinity since it doesn't level off. Um, let's go down to b. Uh, B, uh, for this one, to find the x-intercept, set the numerator equal to zero. You'll be setting 2x minus 3 equals zero. Add the three, divide by two, you get three halves. So there's an x-intercept of three halves, and do the same thing here. Add two, divide by five, and you get two-fifths. So that's where your x-intercepts are. Vertical asymptotes, set the denominator equals zero. You get five-thirds from this one, and you get one-seventh from this one. Uh, undefined points, nothing canceled out, so no undefined points. Horizontal asymptotes, look at the powers. Power of the top is fourth power. Power of the bottom, see, two, power, two plus two. Fourth power on the top. On the bottom, three plus one. So this is fourth power on the bottom. When the powers are the same, you look at the leading coefficient. Now, the leading coefficient on this is not going to be two times five. It's going to be two squared times five squared. Well, two squared is four, five squared is 25, so that gives you 100 on the top. And on the bottom, three cubed is 27, and 27 times, um, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, 27, and 27 times seven, I don't know what that is off the bat, but that, uh, your location of your horizontal asymptote is gonna be 100, 100, over 27 times seven. And I don't know what that is, but that is going to be the location of your horizontal asymptote. On C, this thing needs combined into one expression, see? So uh, like A and B is combined into one expression. We don't have that with this. So to simplify this, you have to remember what, when you're dividing uh, fractions, you flip it. So this thing, the 5x over 9x uh, minus 9x squared minus 4, that needs reciprocated so that the 9x squared minus 4 is on the top and the 5x is on the bottom. Even when you do that, it still needs factored so that you can combine like terms. So here on the first bit of the expression, here it is worked out for you. This denominator right here factors into this. The way I got that is there's a common factor of 2, so factor out the 2. Then you're left with 3x squared minus 11x uh, plus 6. And then factor that farther, and you'll get 3x minus 2, x minus 3, either by trial and error. Or you can actually use the Excel sheet to factor this 6x squared minus 22x plus 12. Go to the poly sheet. And if you scroll to the right, there's a place to factor trinomials. And I just put in my coefficients here of 6 minus 22 and 12, and I get 2 times 3x minus 2, x minus 3. So that's what this thing right here factors into, and I put that right there. This thing got flipped, so the 5x is on the bottom, and the 9x squared minus 4 needs to be uh, factored. That's a difference of two squares if it factors into 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2. Or again, you can use the sheet right here and put in your coefficients of 9, 0, and minus 4, and if you do, you get 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2. So that's what would be up on top. Again, that's because it was division. You flip this, factor everything, and that changes from division to multiplication. Now cancel out like terms. The 2 on the top here cancels out with this 2. 
the 3x minus 2 right here cancels out with this 3x minus 2. So the only thing that's left on the top is the 3x plus 2. And what's left on the bottom is this 5x and this x minus 3. So now we have this looking like parts A and B up here where it's just one expression, not adding or subtracting, multiplying or dividing anything. It's all something over something. That's the format that we needed in to answer these questions. So now, what are the, what's the x-intercept? Set the numerator equal 0. If you do that, if you set 3x plus 2 equal to 0, you'll get 3x equals negative 2, or divide by 3, x equals negative 2 thirds. On the bottom, to find your um, uh, vertical asymptotes, set the 5x equal to 0. You divide by 5, you get x equals 0. Set the x minus 3 equals 0, you get x equals 3. Horizontal asymptotes, well, undefined points, nothing canceled out, so no undefined points. Horizontal asymptotes, uh, look at the powers. Power of the top is first power. Power of the bottom, when you distribute that across, you get second power. See, this is to the first power, and this is to the first power, so that gives you second power. When the power of the bottom, the denominator, is bigger than the power of the numerator, then you do have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. There's no leading coefficient stuff when the powers aren't the same. So on this one, it just has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Um, now they get harder here at d. At d, we need to um, factor this stuff. So this one here factors into right here. The 6x squared minus 22x plus 12 factors into 2 times the quantity 3x minus 2, x minus 3. And then 9x squared minus 4 factors into 3x plus 3, 2, 3x minus 2. Now we just can't go canceling things out. When you're adding or subtracting, it actually makes the problem harder. You have to get a common denominator. Now to get the common denominator of these two things, we have to say, well, what's um, in this denominator? What's in here that's not in this? So that we get the common stuff on both sides. Well, this denominator here is missing. It has a 3x minus 2, like that one does, but it doesn't have a 3x plus 2. So I have to put a 3x plus 2 on the top and on the bottom down here. 3x plus 2. And then over here, I say what's um, in this denominator that's not in this one. Well, a couple things. There's a 2 over here. But you know what? We could have even simplified this 2 right here, but let's say you didn't see that. I'll have to put a 2 uh, top and bottom times. I'll put a 2 down here so it looks just like the other one. And then what else is over here that's not over here? Well, the x minus 3. So I've got to put an x minus 3 top and bottom on this. So let me do that. So right here we need an x minus 3. And over here we need a x minus 3. So that's how we get the common denominator. Now, what you do is uh, we will only have, let me just copy this stuff now. And what we have is since we have the same denominator, we can write all this stuff over one denominator. So in other words, I can just say, I can take this stuff and let's go over here and say minus that stuff. And now I don't need to say two separate things. So I have everything in this one area. Now we just need to uh, distribute through parentheses and so on on this stuff. So let's take a look at this a second. So um, now uh, distributing through, again, this is y equals here. I missed that. So y equals this stuff. On the top, taking the 2 through, taking the 2 through the 3x plus 2, I would get 6x. Let's do that here, 6x uh, plus 4. And then uh, minus 2 times 5x. We'll see that's 10x. Right here, that's 10x. And 10x times x is, that would be minus 10x squared. So let's take care of that here. Let's just uh, clean this up here. So it would be minus 10x squared. That again came from the minus 2 times 5x, which is minus 10x times x is minus 10x squared. Now minus 2 times 5x is minus 10x times minus 3 is 30x, so plus 30x. Then we need to uh, combine like terms. Okay, I paused it so I could get some of this written up. And now again, we distribute that minus 10x through to get this right here. And then now uh, I wrote this in standard form, minus 10x squared. The 6x and 30x is 36x plus 4. Uh, factor this thing. Now, the only thing that factors out of this is a 2. So I factored out the 2, and I was left with uh, this right here. 
This does not factor any further. The negative 5x squared plus 18x plus 2 does not factor any further. So, um, uh, but the 2's do cancel out, so that's all you can do. And so now at this point, to get your x-intercepts, you would set the numerator equal to 0. Well, that numerator right there is a quadratic, so I went to the quadratic sheet, put in my coefficients, and I got these two x-intercepts, negative 0.11 and 3.71, so those are your uh, x-intercepts. Vertical asymptotes is where the denominator equals 0, so set each of these equal to 0, and from this one you would get 2 thirds, this one you get 3, and this one you get negative 2 thirds. Just set each one of these individually equal to 0 and solve them. The uh, 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 undefined points, well, that's only worth something canceled out, and nothing canceled out of this problem. When you go through here, there was nothing that canceled out anywhere on that. So uh, no uh, undefined points on this problem. Uh, what about um, um, horizontal asymptotes? We'll look at the powers. Power of this is second power. Power of this down here is actually third power. So again, when the power of the denominator is bigger than the power of the numerator, then you have a horizontal asymptote on the y on the x-axis. So that means it's at y equals zero is the horizontal asymptote. If I didn't mention it, back on problem C, we did get something that canceled off. The 3x minus 2 canceled off with the 3x minus 2. So that one, back on problem C, where the 3x minus 2 equals 0, since it canceled out completely, that would be a uh, undefined point. So uh, set the 3x minus 2 equals 0, and you get x equals 2 thirds. So at 2 thirds, that would, problem C would have an undefined point at 2 thirds. And then if you want to get the y part of that undefined point, you would substitute the 2 thirds into the simplified version of it right there. And uh, so anyway, there was no undefined points on, uh, on this one that we just got done doing here, problem, uh, problem D. Now problem E, what you have to do is uh, rewrite that expression so that there's no negative exponents. This x plus 1 would go to the bottom, the 5 would stay on the top. Then you have to look at these all as being like the x is over 1, the 2 is over 1, and you have minus 3x in that. Now you've got to get a common denominator. So see this, this first term right here, that has to be multiplied top and bottom by x times x plus 1 because that's what it's missing. So you would need a, a x times x plus 1 on the bottom and on the top of this one expression right here. And then you would need the same thing here, top and bottom. And this one you would just need an x plus 1, top and bottom. And this one you would need an x, top and bottom. An x here and an x here down here on the bottom and see now all the denominators are the same so we could just write it as one denominator and uh, and simplify the numerator so here's that problem worked out uh, again I had to multiply the top and bottom here of x times x plus 1 here also this one I had to do an x plus 1 top and bottom this one an x now distributing the x times x, which is x squared, times the x plus 1, I get x cubed plus t x squared. The 2x distributing that through. The minus 3 distribute that through. That's where a lot of people make mistakes. You get minus 3x minus 3 plus 5x. And that's all over the common denominator, x times x plus 1. Combine like terms and you get this. To get the x-intercepts, I would just take these coefficients, 1, 3, 4, and negative 3, to my cubic sheet and put in those coefficients and I get this one real x-intercept. The other two are not real. So the one real intercept is 0.516. The uh, vertical asymptotes are at zero from this one and negative one from this one. Horizontal asymptote, there isn't any because the power of the top is three and the power of the denominator is two. And there's no undefined points because nothing canceled out. So I'll stop there and we'll pick up more problems on the next video.